Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3, the 15 inch version. I'm gonna show you how to open it up and access your heat sink assembly. Your fan, your CPU access will be in this video. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have these four screws along the bottom edge here, these three along the middle, and these three along the top. Once you get those screws out, you're gonna take your small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because metal tends to scratch your cases much more than plastic ones. So take your small, flat, plastic pry tool and go across this seam all the way around to gently but firmly pry up your bottom case from the rest of your computer. Be careful not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage things inside the computer. Just keep it on the edge and go nice and slow. If you get stuck in a spot, stop and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a side note, guys, to your computer repair project, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either a mat or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to help you limit the chances of damaging anything in your computer when working on them. If you need help with any tools or supplies for your computer repair, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of things that I use in my shop. So here's your battery right here on the bottom right corner. If you wanna remove it, you have these three screws here. You have two on the left, one on the right, and then the battery plugs into the motherboard right there. Because there's not a lot of slack in this line, I had to remove the battery and then use it to pull out of that port there. Even though I always say to not pull from the wires, if you can help it, there's really no other way to pull that out. It's, it's really kind of hard. So I had to pull it out from the wires. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged from the computer, we can proceed deeper in now. And here's your heatsink assembly up here, your CPU, the heatsink assembly going to your main vent and your fan right here. To release the fan, you have this screw here, this screw here, and this screw here. Keep in mind before taking your fan out, if you see these Wi-Fi, these antenna wire plugging into your Wi-Fi card, they're run through the fan. So don't just rip that off. You could damage those wires. You may want to unsnap these from your Wi-Fi card and unrun it from your fan before removing your fan. But after removing your fan, you'll be able to clean it out, blow it out, um, if you're here to do any sort of cleaning like that, make sure you get your vent really well. And then if you want to proceed to the heat sink, you've just got these four screws left over your CPU and you can get your heat sink up. If you guys are here because of an overheating issue or for whatever other reason you're trying to reapply thermal paste, I'll have a video link up top. I'll also put it below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to apply thermal paste correctly. You want to clean all the old stuff off. You don't want to put new paste on top of old paste. Um, and then you don't want to put too much on when you're ready to reapply. So again, there'll be a video link that's a quick tutorial for how to do that below in the description. But this video was showing you how to access these components in this model computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.